Today I would like to talk to you about one of the most underrated feature of Power BI in my opinion, custom tooltips. So many times in my professional career, I have seen people trying to fit as many charts as possible to a single page, to the point where the main focus and story behind the graphs were lost. With custom tooltips, you are able to show more details when it's needed uh, by user hovering over a data point for a certain period or category, depending on the graph that you are using, and viewing this additional information when it's needed for them. Let me show you how you can build one of these custom tooltips charts. Here is a copy of uh, the report with uh, a standard tooltips. So your standard tooltips would look like this. It would show um, additional information apart from your main um, numerical values on your chart. And um, you would add it here in tooltips menu. However, if you want to show a little bit more details and information, such as a breakdown of your total sales, you cannot do that with standard tooltips. You can do that with the custom tooltips or drill through functionalities, which is a different topic. Um, let's have a look how we can create custom tooltips. So for that, we need to create additional page. Um, I'm going to call it tooltips2. And we're going to hide this page because we don't want that page to be available for the user. Um, that doesn't make sense um, for them. We only want to use it on the main page uh, where we add it to a certain graph. And first thing we need to do is we want to change the settings of this page from a standard type to a tooltip. And we can change the alignment. So I'm going to place it right in the middle. As for the canvas, um, the beauty of uh, custom tooltips is the fact that you can actually customize the um, the design of your of your graphs and the background and how your custom tooltips look. That's the beauty of it and the most powerful feature of it, I think. So for consistency and aesthetics, I'm going to just uh, imitate the design that I have here of this page. So what I want to do is change the background of the color, change its transparency. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. And now we can start adding the graphs that we want to have. So to create exactly what I have, um, all I really had is just three um, elements, three types of graphs edit. So I'll just copy them here and I'll explain what are these. So first of all, it's uh, just a standard cluster bar chart where I placed country and total sales um, on that chart do display. The second one, it's a um, card visual. And uh, you can use a standard one. I have used a new card. Um, and um, all I did, I've just added uh, total sales. So total sales, it's just a standard, very simple measure that shows me a sum of all the sales. And when I'm hovering over a certain data, points on my graph, like so, it automatically filters for that. The total sales automatically gets filtered for that specific period that I'm hovering over. In that case, it's July 2014. And the same with my third card that I'm using here, which is showing me total sales as of, in that case, 1st of December 2014. However, when I'm hovering over um, a certain data point, it automatically places the filter on that card and shows me the data point um, for the period uh, that I'm hovering over. OK. And let me show you the measure that I have created for this card. It's basically a first part, it's a concatenation of a text string total sales as of, and then I'm using the dynamic part where I'm grabbing a maximum date, but because it gets filtered 
on the graph when I'm hovering over, it shows me the date uh, of at that point in time. And then I'm just formatting it in this format, um, like so. And then just to create a little bit more aesthetics uh, for my custom tooltips, I have added a text box behind it. Um, and yeah, so I just edit a background of white, edit a border for it, and place it right behind my graphs like so. And just for consistency, I've done the same for the um, bar chart. So I have added another text box and imitated the, the design of that graph and placed it right behind my graph, like so. That's it. So it's now ready to use. So let's go to our new report page. Um, let's select our graph, go to Format. And in properties, we can select tool tips. And instead of default, we will change it to report page. And this is where you can select what custom tooltip page you want to use. So in our case, it's TT2. And um, if we check it, it works. So what do you guys think? Do you know about this feature? Did you know about that? Uh, do you use it? Do you find it useful? Let me know in comments.